Hey, what's up, guys? It's your favorite injury here. Fucking the empty set, bruh. My glasses are slanted because I'm on that lean. Let me stop. Anyway, so, um, yeah. A couple days ago, I made a video called Crypt is Chasing Eminem's Cloud, in which I listed all the reasons that Crypt's video was basically why Eminem won, which he should have just titled why Eminem won instead of trying to stay neutral. But I will give him this. You get more clicks if you try to make it neutral in the title at least. Because then you can be like, oh, who is he going to say one? Is he going to say Eminem one? Is he going to say MGK one? You know? And then you have people on both sides being like, you know, get the fucking keyboards at the ready, finna type some shit like, see, this is where you're wrong, buddy. This is why MGK won. This is why. And it works so well. Because that's why I watched the video. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I was like, you know what, dude? This you're gonna say that MG you're gonna say that Eminem won and I wanna know why. I wanna know why you're gonna say Eminem won, so I'm gonna watch your video. And the reason is because like I had seen those other MGK videos he did where it's like a cinema sense style video. Basically it was the entire format of Cinema Sins, but about it, it, it could have been on the music video sense channel, basically. And actually if they have, if that video isn't on the music video sense channel, it will be soon, <laughs> basically. Um, anyway, not not trying to accuse you of anything. Inspiration is inspiration. It works as a, as a format when you're just trying to list everything that isn't is not wrong with the video. So yeah, you know, props to you for using a good format, I guess, because I mean it works. But anyway, so from that video, I could kind of those videos. He did everything good and everything bad. I could kind of tell like. Okay, you're gonna um, you're you're probably on Eminem's side, and so when I watched this, I was already had that in mind, and then when he was like, I liked Eminem's song better. I was like, okay, you're definitely going to be telling us why Eminem won. There is zero chance of you saying anything about MGK winning. Um, so what numbers are you finna spit my way to make m make it clear that Eminem won? And he basically did that, to no surprise of anyone. So. Anyway, I got a comment on my video from Crypt, which blew my mind, because I was like, I did not think I was that important, and I still don't. I think it was just like, oh, he saw it, uh, go ahead and just put me to bed real quick. Which, I mean, to be fair, when he commented, I was sleeping, so he did put me to bed. Thank you for that. Well, I was already in bed, wasn't I? Yeah, I, I didn't get up until like 12, but I'm just now seeing this, and it's 11, 11, so, yeah. I don't check my videos. <laughs> anyway, so, um... I'm just going to go through the comment, kind of reply to it, not going to be apologizing for anything because I didn't feel like I did anything worth apologizing for. But anyway, so, uh, dude, this is such a double-edged sword. I get that if you're trying to say I'm clout chasing you while you're clout chasing Eminem. So, yeah, uh, that was a clout chase on my part. Moving on. First of all, the name calling, even though you've never spoken to me and didn't with no apostrophe after the end. My good sir! Let me stop. <laughs> um, even tag me or anything with this. Yeah, I did not know that you could like tag individual people with the video. I mean, I did put your video in the description because I felt like I'm not gonna talk shit about someone's video and then not put it in the description. Like, that's, that's fucked up. You don't just say things about someone and then make people go do their due diligence to find it. Like, you put that shit in the fucking description where it belongs so people can look at it for themselves and come to their own conclusion. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that, I, I didn't talk to you because, I mean, really, would you have given me the time of day if I did? Probably not. You probably would have either blocked me, been like, fuck off, who are you, fucking, that's what I would have done. Would have been like, who are you, no, no, little, little youngin'? Scooch along now, go to school. <laughs> um, anyway. So yeah, that's why I didn't uh, didn't say anything to you. I didn't tag you because I didn't know that's a thing you could do. Uh, but I gave MGK way more points than he should have gotten if the video was for, directly from my opinions. It would have been ten times worse. See, this is what I'm saying. You were automatically skewed in Eminem's favor. You were biased when you did your video. You can't have a bias like that and then say that you're neutral. But you know, as far as like how much of it was and was not your opinion, we'll never know. And at this point, there's no way to prove that. There's no way that I can prove it because it's your video, your intentions, and your, you know, setting it up. I was not a part of that. I cannot 
predicate on what you did and did not do. And you can't prove it because it's already said and done. So unless you proved it in the moment, anything that you could say could just be, well, covering up or apolog... What do you call it? Apologetics? Yeah, it could just be that. So there's no way for either one of us to prove prove ourselves right in that scenario. So I'm, I think it's best if we both just drop that because I can't say I'm right. You can't say you're right. So yeah. Um... <clears throat> I told everyone I liked Eminem's song better, but I've also said in previous videos that I like MGK songs. Okay, but the problem is not you liking MGK songs. The problem is you liking Eminem's song better, which skewed your video into Eminem's favor rather than keeping it in the middle, which in the middle you wouldn't have given any opinion. You would have said, like, you wouldn't have said, oh, I liked MGK's video better. You would have kept a lot of things out, which would have made the video a lot it would have made it boring, honestly. If you just stuck straight to the facts, the video would have been boring. And it was not a boring video. I mean, you even made me laugh sometimes, and I was kind of pissed off by the video. I was not pissed off by the video. I kind of felt like it was a little bit bullshitty, but I, I was not, like, actually angry. Um, I have, like, way other things in my life to be angry about, and I'm sure you do, too. So, you know, life life is terrible for everybody. Um, anyway. Um, where was I? Uh, also, completely in disagree with Eminem's personal life choices and disagree with his political views amongst many other things. That must have been when I said something about Eminem having other kids. I don't remember if I said anything in that video specifically about Eminem having other kids. Cause I, I do feel like that's fucked up. Like, you know, whether it be 96 Body and Clyde, you know, way before my, that, no, that song was about Haley. Uh, Kim was about Haley, or at least, you know, Haley was the only girl mentioned, uh, Mockingbird, uh, I think like Toy Soldiers has a mention of Haley in it, obviously Killshot, you know, like, all these, he only ever mentions Haley, we all ever, we all, only people that we know are Debbie Mathers, Kim, and fucking Haley, because that's all he ever talks about, you know, which, I mean, Kim and, and Debbie, that, that's his mom and his ex-wife, so it's like, whatever, but to only talk about one kid like that is kind of fucked up when you have other kids. But, um, yeah, that's just personal opinion. And he disagrees as well. So, yeah, and as far as political views, I feel like, I mean, he wanted to diss Donald Trump. I don't personally like Donald Trump, but I also just stopped giving a shit because I feel like at this point, there's no reason to give a shit. If we're going to die, we're going to die. If he's going to start a world war, he's going to fucking do it. There's nothing I can do because I can't vote yet. You know, I'll be voting in 2020, but believe that. But... You know, it's whatever, man. It's, it's, it's truly whatever. You know, I feel like this whole thing has turned into a fucking soap opera with him, so it's like, I'm not even going to participate. I'm not going to give my little drops of fuel to this fire by participating in the fucking TV show that is the politics, fucking climate, political climate of this country right now. So I'm going to wait till 2020 when I can vote, vote, get my voice heard, and have that be it. Um, but yeah, he, dis he disagrees as well, disagrees with other things, you know, maybe he wouldn't have broken up with Ken. I don't know. Uh, dick riding him is the least thing, last thing that I, last thing I do, uh, just know better music when I hear it. Okay. Alright. Well, dick riding him is something that I think that you are doing, but, again, Perfectly reasonable to to be dick riding at this current moment in time um, So I'm, I'm definitely not saying that your dick riding is a bad thing. I'm just saying that Don't drag the name of neutrality into this Because just often my own life. I just cannot stand people like oh, I'm neutral and then I'm clearly not neutral So, you know, I guess it did kind of strike a nerve, but not really But anyway, um, I just know better music when I hear it. That's subjective you know, I mean, a lot of the rap I listen to, especially these days, is, I'm not going to say less lyrical, but more, I mean, I'm, a, I'm an, not an aggressive person, but I like aggressive music. I mean, if we were to go through my CD collection, it's mainly like, you know, dark, it's, it's okay, I have the CD collection of an emo person, I was going to say in 2008, but a lot of my, I, I have CDs that are, came out after 2008, so it's like you can't really say that, but anyway. 
Yeah, I do have the CD collection of an emo person. I listen to a lot of aggressive music, and the rappers that I listen to are also uh, along that aggressive emo line. Not to say that MGK or Eminem are, both, are either aggressive or emo, because they're not. Um, but MGK is just more my style these days. I do still listen to Eminem, but, like, I don't know. I, I grew up on Eminem, and I'm, I'm big fans of both of them, honestly. I, I love both of their music. You know, I, I can bump both of their songs today. You know, I, I just listened to MGK's EP. Um, but anyway. Yeah, you know, you just know better music when you hear it. Like I said, that's so subjective that there's no such thing as better music. I've had to come to terms with that, too, because I'd, I'd be like, you know what? Fucking Little Pump is just so trash. Like, Little Pump is terrible. I hate Little Pump. He never makes good songs. But everyone loves him. So I can't say that that's bad music, because what makes music bad? When it's unoriginal? Well, there's plenty of music that's unoriginal that's also likable. I mean, you know, in the 2000s, you had these, like, generic-ass rock bands like Nickelback or Creed or Shinedown. Or... The names just kind of run together in my mind, you know? And I cannot tell you, oh, like, minus, like, the singer's voice. Like, oh, I know Chad Kroger when I hear it type shit. I don't like Nickelback, to be completely honest. I don't like Shine Shinedown or Creed, to be completely honest with you. But, like, those those bands that all popped up in the 2000s, and they did their thing, and then they, you know, quietly went away. Um, it's pretty unoriginal, but many people hail them and love them, you know? So it's like, okay, well, where is that line drawn? And the rest of this video, you can go ahead and click off, because all I'm talking about is just the subjectivity of music taste. Because I'm sure I listen to a lot of stuff that people say is bad music. I listen to a lot of, like, hardcore, like, classic hardcore, like, Black Flag or Minor Threat or classic punk rock like, you know, Dead Kennedys or Sex Pistols or The Clash. And so a lot of people call that bad music. Oh, that's just noise. You know, or that white boy shit. I get that a lot. Um, which is, it's, it's whatever. You know, I mean, if you think it's bad music, don't listen to it. Um, as far as better music, I'll say Eminem is a better rapper because he can just, he can rap circles around MGK. Okay, Eminem is a better rapper. No one was, I, even in my original video, I was like, Eminem is a better rapper. So that's that. But, yeah. So I got to say, really, um, I was going to say like, comment, subscribe, but fucking, I don't give a shit. I'm doing music now. I'm not doing YouTube. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I have an orgy in the comments. I really don't give a shit. But, yeah, um, laters and crypt, if you're watching this, um, as far as I know, you're not a bitch. So, for all the times that I called you a bitch, just know I did not mean that you are actually a bitch. I just wanted to be funny. And it was probably only funny to me, which is why everyone disliked the video, including myself. I put a dislike on the video to go ahead and join the band bandwagon, since that's what everyone's doing these days. But yeah. Laters! Um, love you, Crypt. <laughs> wait up, no, wait up. No. I gotta do it like Eminem, since that's what we're doing now. We're, we're dick riding Eminem. Uh... <laughs> I'm just playing Crypt, you know I love you.